Welcome to an example on how to factor a quadratic expression using the technique of factor by grouping. Here our goal is to factor x squared plus 2x minus 48. Notice how here the leading coefficient with the coefficient of x squared is 1. So after we factor this by grouping, we'll discuss an alternative method which tends to be much faster than factoring by grouping. But we will first factor this using the grouping technique. So the steps to factor a quadratic expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c by grouping are outlined here. Step one, we want to find the factors of a, c that add to b. Let's begin by identifying the values of a, b, and c. We already recognize that a, the coefficient of x squared is one, b, the coefficient of x is positive two, and c, the constant term is negative 48. So now we want to find a, c, which means a times c, and because a is 1, we'd have 1 times c, which is negative 48. 1 times negative 48 is negative 48. So notice how here, since a is equal to 1, a, c is just equal to c. And now our goal is to find the factors of negative 48 that add to b, which equals 2. So we're looking for two numbers, and when we multiply them, we get negative 48, but when we add them, we get positive 2. So there are quite a few factors of negative 48, but because we have negative 48, we know one factor would have to be negative, and one factor would have to be positive, and when we add them, we get two, which is a small number. So again, we could list all the factors of negative 48, but hopefully we can recognize that we know that negative six times eight equals negative 48, and so does negative eight times six. So of these factors, which add to positive two? Well, we should recognize that these are the two factors that if we add them, we get positive two. So again, these are the factors that we need because the product is negative 48 and the sum of negative six and eight is positive two, which equals b. So step two, we're going to write the bx term, or in this case, the term two x as a sum or difference using the factors from step one, which means we're going to write two x as negative six x plus 8x. So we're going to change the form of this expression and write it as x squared, again, minus 6x plus 8x, and we still have minus 48. Notice how now we have the same expression, but now we have four terms. In order to apply factor by grouping, we do need an even number of terms, which we now have. Now you might be asking, would it be okay to write this as x squared plus 8x minus 6x minus 48? And the answer is yes. Either works because if we combine the like terms, we still have 2x. Step three, we want to divide or group the polynomial into halves. So again, because we have four terms, the first group or first half would be the first two terms, and the second group or second half would be the second two terms. Step four, we're now going to factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. Notice the greatest common factor of the first two terms is x, so if we factor out x, we'd be left with the quantity x minus six. Looking at just the second two terms, notice how the greatest common factor would be eight. So because we're factoring out positive eight, we'll write plus eight, and then we'll be left with the quantity x minus six. And notice how here, these two products have a common binomial factor, which should always be the case when factoring by grouping. So our last step is to factor out the common binomial factor which in this case would be, again, x minus six. So if we factor out x minus six, notice how we're left with the quantity x plus eight, which gives us the remaining factor. This is the factored form of x squared plus two x minus 48 using the technique of factor by grouping. Before we talk about another method to factor the given trinomial, let's multiply this out to make sure it is equivalent to the given expression. So we have the quantity x minus six times the quantity x plus eight. We'll have four products. We distribute the x, and then we distribute the negative six. So x times x is x squared. X times eight would be eight x, so plus eight x. Negative six times x is negative six x, so minus six x. And finally, negative six times eight is negative 48, so we have minus 48. And combining like terms, notice how we do have x squared plus 2x minus 48. Now let's talk about a different method that does relate to factor by grouping to factor quadratic expressions 
from the leading coefficient a equals one. So when we do have a quadratic expression in the form x squared plus bx plus c, again where the leading coefficient is one, if the quadratic expression factors, it will factor into two binomial factors, and the first term in each binomial factor will be x, as we see here. The reason we have an x here and an x here is because notice how x times x equals x squared, which gives us the first term. Next, the factors of c, which in this case is negative 48, that add to b are the constant terms in the binomial factors. If there are no factors of c that add to b, then the expression does not factor. Remember before we used ac, or a times c, but again, since a equals one, we only have to consider the value of c. So we want to answer the question, what are the factors of negative 48 that add to b, which equals positive two? If we can find these factors, these will be the constant terms in the binomial factors. And we already know that negative six times eight equals negative 48, and negative six plus eight equals positive two. And therefore, these two factors are the constant terms in our two binomial factors. So for the negative six, we would have the quantity x minus six, and for the positive eight, we'd have the quantity x plus eight. Which notice how if we go back to our previous slide, we have the same factors that we obtained using the factor by grouping technique. I hope you found this helpful.